So you've probably heard of N8N, which is an app that allows you to automate a lot of parts of your business using nodes. It's very similar to tools like Zapier or Make.com. But one thing that makes N8N stand out from the competition, despite a bit of a steep learning curve, is how cheap it can be once you scale up automation inside your business. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest non-technical way to self-host N8N for just $5 per month to host unlimited automation. Now you probably ask how, because when you click on pricing, you see that it's actually starting at $20 per month. But one thing you might not have noticed is there's a GitHub version of N8N that is open source and that you can host on your own servers, very similar to the way WordPress works, where the software is free, but you just pay for the hosting. And so that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video today. Now, the problem with this is when you actually go through a bunch of tutorials online, you get a lot of scary terms. You'll hear about SSH and console commands that are very scary to non-technical people. So this tutorial is going to show you how to do all of that without any of it. So to host our N810 instance, we're going to be using a platform called Railway. And the reason I picked it is because it has flexible billing, which means you pay for your usage only. You will see that when you check the pricing, it starts at $5 per month, which should be enough for most small businesses. You might want to scale it up later, but really you don't have to for a while. And what you're going to do is you're going to register an account, register for that $5 per month workspace, like fill your info, etc. I'm not going to do it because I already have an account. And then you're going to land on this page that asks you to create a new project. All you have to do is click on deploy a template. And then the first template is usually the N8N with workers, which is the ones we're going to be using. So I'm just going to click on this and it's going to show me everything it's about to deploy. You don't have to know what it is. You just need to click on the deploy button and automatically Railway is going to be setting up an N8N an instance for you that we're going to be able to access in just a minute. Okay, so you can see our deployment is done now. It was done in 25 seconds. It was pretty quick. And then what happened now is I can just go in my settings and I should have a URL that I can open that will open my new N8N an instance. You can see I can set up myself. So I'm just going to enter a bunch of data. I'm going to put a random password. I'm going to delete this after so it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to click next. And then you need to fill some information. And what you want to do, and that's really important, is you want to actually do the free license key because that's going to allow you to do updates and have access to more features. So I'm going to click on send me the free license key and make sure you have a real email here. And when the email lands, your use agent plan, and you click enter activation key. I got my activation key from my email, so I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to click activate. And now I should have access to all the features within the N8N. And if I go back, I can start creating my workflows. And I have access to all my nodes, which is like over a thousand integrations. So, yep, if I wanted to do like an advanced AI agent, I would just click here, go in AI agent and connect my open AI, do all the prompting, do all that stuff. But now maybe you want to host this on like another domain than the railway app URL. You don't have to, but you can do that. And the way you do that is you go back to your railway account, you go back to your settings and you scroll down to custom domain. And in here you put a random domain. So I put like n8n3.judgmentmedia.com, for example. And then you click add domain. And here, what you get is you get the instructions to set up on your DNS to use these domains. You would go to your DNS, usually Cloudflare, and then you would click add record, for example, and you would click, click see name. You would put the name of the record that it showed you. And then the target URL would be the one that I got on railway. And then I would deactivate the proxy so that Cloudflare doesn't interfere with the NA10. And I would just click save. And now my custom domain should be available within a few seconds. Now there's one more concern I want to address, and it's how do you update your NA10? Because now you have it, but there is constant updates being rolled out for NA10, and I don't want to go in a console to update it. And the way you actually do that is pretty simple. You go back on your railway dashboard, and you can see like once you go on your dashboard, you'll be able to quickly access this. And then I didn't explain it, but you have actually the advanced version of NA10 here, where you have a primary session that you log onto, and then it connects to a database that then has worker units that allow you to run the processes. And what that means is you can essentially duplicate the amount of workers here so that you can scale how many automations you can run. So it's the most advanced setup of N8N. But what you need to do to update it is you click on primary and then you will see deployments. You click on these three dots here and you click on redeploy. And what that does is it pulls the latest version of N8N from the N8N repository and it redeploys it for you with all the updates that you need. Just make sure you update both the primary node and the worker. Click on the three dots and click on redeploy. And then when it's done, you will have all the updates that you need. Now, there's one more thing I want to talk about if you want to have an environment that you actually control with an A10, and that's variables. Because variables, you will often need to use them. For example, if you want to install some extra nodes, or if you want to add memory, you will be told to add variables, like your chatbot will tell you to do that. The way you do this is you go in variable here, and you can add new variables. 
you can either add variables to the primary node or to the worker and primary node. They need to be shared sometimes. So the way you add the normal one is new variable. And the way you add a shared one, you click on shared variable, you click on configure shared variables, and here you can write the variables that you'll be told to. So that's pretty much all you need to know. What's important from this video is now you can build all the automations that you want on your custom domain for just $5 per month. That's probably one of the best investments for your business that you could use. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to show you some actual automations that we use in our business, let me know and I'll make some more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.